Representatives of the companies Harith and Lebashe have called UDM leader Bantu Holomisa's allegations against them defamatory and damaging to their reputation. The PIC Commission of Inquiry heard the testimonies of former Deputy Finance Minister Jabi Mulekedi, now Chairman of Harith General Partners. It also heard from the founder and CIO of Lebashe, Warren Whitley, while CEO of Harith and shareholder of Lebashe, Tsepo Mutluele, was cross-examined by evidence leader advocate Jan Lube. Holomisa alleged that it seems that the group is improperly benefiting due to their past relation to the PIC. He said they could be a part of a cartel of BEE beneficiaries building business empires due to their easy access to PIC funds. I, I wouldn't know. I don't know. The former Deputy Finance Minister know. says the allegations that he used his previous position as PIC chairman for personal gains are unfounded and damaging to his reputation. Holomisa's suspicions stem from the PIC establishing the Pan-African Infrastructure Development Fund led by then-executive Tepo Matluele. Matluele resigned from the PIC to facilitate establishing the fund and later became CEO of Herith Fund Managers, solely responsible for managing the infrastructure fund. After Mulegeti left government, he says he continued being chairman of Harith at the request of the PIC. When Harith General Partners became active and was subcontracted to manage the infrastructure fund, he continued as chairman of Harith General Partners. Mulegeti says everything is above board and that Holomisa may have ulterior motives. There is an undeclared motive, it's true. What it is, I can't speculate. Because anyone who genuinely seeks to find the truth. You don't go to the media, insult people, paint them in a particular light, and then come to the commission and pretend that you are genuinely seeking the truth. I, I, I find that a little devious, very difficult to accept its nature that it's genuine and its intentions are pure. Holomisa also questioned the PIC funding Lebashe's transaction to acquire Capitec shares. Lebashe says it approached the PIC with a fully funded proposal to buy the Capitec shares it held. CIO Warren Whitley says due to time delays, the shares appreciated in value and the PIC insisted on selling them at the high price. This led to a shortfall which PIC funded with a loan of $720 million to Lebashe. Lebashe later got funding from the Government Employees Pension Fund, facilitated by the PIC, to buy another portion of Capitec shares from Coral Lagoon. Current debt by Lebashe to the PIC, based on the facility funding agreement, is $1.5 billion. This includes interest payable on the loan. I must state this categorically and must be part of the record. Repayments thereof are up to date and Lebashe have not missed a single payment. Makrele also took the stand to complete being cross-examined. He told the commission that he was appointed CEO of Harith as he had set it up and had established and managed to attract investments to the infrastructure fund. Dora Safakomusi, SABC News, Pretoria.